Protecting homes on Volano Beach can be difficult. That's because it's pretty much surrounded by water. But take a look at this. This is some of the damage they saw during Hurricane Matthew, and a lot of folks still haven't recovered from this. Action News Jack's Lorena Inkland is looking at how our coastal neighbors are preparing for another storm. Dorian was the last storm to pass through this area, and even though it didn't make a landfall, it left its mark, especially right here behind me. Now, the FDOT plans to beef up this temporary fix, but it's not the only area that leaders are paying attention to. Action News Jax was able to give you a bird's eye view of the St. Johns County coastline after Hurricane Dorian brushed our beaches. Some took a bigger beating than others. Volano Beach, an area prone to issues, took a hit. Erosion is always going to be a problem in Florida uh, due because hurricanes. While it's not uncommon, it's still concerning. It's why County Commissioner Jeremiah Blocker tells me he's working with state agencies and the Army Corps of Engineers to come up with a plan. We want to make sure that our economic viability is protected, that people's investment are protected, and that our property owners are protected. Right now, Blocker says beach renourishment projects are underway in Volano and South Ponte Vedra beaches. Uh, there are some gaps there, as you've seen, and, and as it's like building a house as you're going through it, there, there's areas where you're vulnerable until you complete the project. This is one of those gaps. It didn't take much for Dorian to cause seawater to wash over onto A1A near the villages of Villano. The FDOT says it's working on pumping in more sand and planting vegetation to prevent a similar breach in the future. As far as a timeline of when the FDOT will create that small dune here, that is to be determined, but the FDOT says it's already ordered the vegetation and they're just waiting on it. Reporting from Volano Beach, Lorena, Inclan, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jax.